This is Atlas. We're on Xbox Series X. The game does not note optimizations at the current point. It is worth noting that this is a Xbox game preview title, so it is still an active development, and I do imagine we'll eventually see some really good optimizations for it because we've seen that with, you know, Ark Survival Evolved, and this is kind of a similar experience. It's from the same individuals. And yeah, I actually got a lot of people complaining last time when I mentioned that this was basically a bit of a, a clone of that one, which I still think is fair to say. I mean, they're both taking the same core concept and just uh, doing different things with them. So this is supposed to have HDR support, but I'm not seeing that it's currently available in the game, so I don't know if that's coming later, if that's what they mean. But uh, yeah, I thought that was worth mentioning because it does note that as well. So the game does at this point have crossplay between PC and Xbox players, so that's kind of great to, to see available within the game. And if you're not familiar with what this is, you know, outside of the concept of just showing it off, oh, I'm gonna break my leg. Nope. Oh, yep. Yeah. Anyways, this is a, I guess you could say, multiplayer focus sort of thing. You can play it in single player. You know, it's got the same kind of setup as Ark, where you could go off and do your own self-hosted stuff and everything. But we're showing off an online server that's got like 24 or something people in it. I think it says right here, now it's 23. But it just kind of gives you an idea of things. The ping is a little bit high, but I mostly wanted to do multiplayer as like a test to see you know, how this one is running. Anyways, it's a pirate adventure. It's supposed to be the ultimate pirate adventure. And you're going around crafting, building, surviving, exploring. It's a little bit more, I guess you could say, free in terms of going around and doing stuff in comparison to Ark. I mean, obviously with a big focus on the, the naval element of it because you're literally fighting people. And I've just been toggling first and third person, so you get the idea that both options are present. It's kind of neat. I mean, you're doing pirate stuff. and I wasn't huge on it on the One X when I first did my original video kind of showcase of it. People were downright hostile about that, which, you know, it's fine, whatever. And now we're kind of on it, and it is running, like, significantly better than what it was at that time. I mean, it's still, like, it, it's game preview, right? So it's going to change over time. But it still definitely needs uh, some performance work, because even on the Series X, it's like, still having hiccups here or there so yeah like arc you know you got to deal with all these different i guess you could say environmental elements of it you know you kind of worry about your character's health and everything and then you go through the skill tree and you unlock things like the basics and you get the tools of survival and you kind of just um, use your skills and you improve your character and there's like a you know skill tree you're working through and then, you know, we've got, like, our inventory, which, if you've played Ark, it should be very familiar to you. Very pirate-organized, and crafting, and building, and stuff like that. And you can change your inventory style. And we can make a campfire. So you collect all this stuff from going around in the world, finding resources. You create your own company. There you can, like, tame things, which is kind of expected. And then there's the discoveries area. And uh, tutorials, too, if you're having any sort of issue, I guess, learning the mechanics and the, the style of gameplay that's present. Um, actually, I'm sort of used to Ark where I'm playing in, uh, I guess you could say, uh, first person in Ark. Yeah. It's a bit different doing third person, but I think third person gives you a bit more of an idea of how everything is running in the game. At least I think so from this, like, backed out uh, sort of perspective. Maybe we should actually go down to the water and, um, show a little bit of the swimming off. I'm just trying to give you an idea of how it's sort of running at the current point. So they have been adding a lot of content to it. You know, they've been updating it, supporting it, uh, releasing new things. There's lots of like ship type customization you can do. Oh, that's not going to be good. Ow. Lots of different creatures. Like these are clearly like dodo type things, which is kind of funny. Level 29. <laughs> Fight Nichigan. Yeah, but obviously a lot more people would be, like, more time invested in this, and they'd have, like, a crazy boat, and they'd have all these different things kind of going on here. I feel bad, Chicken. It is lagging, like, crazy. Though I imagine that is, again, due to, like, just the server setup and stuff. Ugh. Ugh. I love how it hurts me to get the stuff out of the creature. 
But yeah, it's a like it's a neat game, right? It definitely has its its moments in regards to like the style of play here. Come on, let's uh, let's get that on the the hotkey thing. And then you got like a good hotkey system where you're able to eat stuff. Oh no, I've, I've eaten rotten food and it's it's gonna hurt me. Oh no. But yeah, I do like that it's a little bit less micromanagement focused. Is that dung? That's funny. Uh, just in terms of like the survival elements, because I find them in Ark, it's, it's really tiring. And I mean, it, it's similar, right? But it is definitely a little bit different. Oh look, all the fishes! That's exciting. I don't know, it, it's a neat game, I guess. If it's your sort of thing, I'm sure you could spend like lots of hours sitting here playing it and everything and leveling up and enjoying things with friends and doing pvp and there's like pve so there's different server options depending on like what you want to do how you want to play it different types of ships and creatures like look at those giant female bear and everything like that it, it just has a lot going on within it i think that's sort of impressive and you know you get to be an intense pirate what is, is this be firing at me as did they shoot like a cannonball? That was highly uh, like uh, anger focused. It's kind of coming up here to explore, and I'm getting getting shot at from my zoom up there or something. But yeah, there's all these different areas you can get into. And I wonder if we can actually sneak in here. Ooh, I was killed by buckle, buckle stroke, and hit me hard. And you can create your own like pathfinder and you can add like weird funny tattoos to them there's lots of different options for play so yeah if you do the the single player you know you could be playing by yourself yes respawn me oh, i guess i gotta create a new yeah blah 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 we'll show off the creation thing oh it took me back to the main menu why did it do that a little disappointing at least you get to see the loading in action so anyways uh, if you play with your friends, you can do eight players in a non-dedicated server mode. Then you can adjust how it like runs and everything like that. And I guess we gotta join another multiplayer thing, but you're just kind of seeing the options and then you select the area. Again, I tried to pick a spot that is kind of semi-busy with people. I mean, like at 23. Let's do that one and join that and create our new sort of character we will just kind of show off how it works like you can do like randomized things you can make a very specific type of character if that's what you want to do and you just go out and you do all this piratey type stuff whatever you really want in the wondrous world of atlas and i'm curious to see how this will continue to be updated because i don't really hear this one uh, talked about as much as you know Arcus, right despite this one also being very similar in terms of design and everything I just assumed it would be more of a super popular type of game not to say it isn't but um, yeah it's just kind of neat why am I stuck to the female oh, I guess because it's female option or male option and then you can just like Randomize. I don't know, this guy looks kind of cool, but you can change all these settings, change your islands, give yourself a name. I'm just gonna be Yar Yar. And the family name of Yar. Yar. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it's just kind of entertaining. And you can draw your tattoo if you want, the whole tattoo system, which is kind of fun. I mean, I think it gets the pirate elements right, and I think people will probably respond to this video in a more exciting and happy way just because I'm not being all negative towards it but really on the the one x there were a lot of you know performance issues and stuff it was a real it was a real problem it wasn't easy to play i didn't have fun with that particular thing but now that it actually you know kind of handles a little bit better i think it just kind of makes for a much better time Ooh, that's a cute little bird but yeah you're kind of going around you're, you're collecting those resources and then you want to scavenge right i think because i got a new character yeah, I don't really have anything sort of unlocked. This is where our pirate friend would come over, our little weird pirate display person, and he'd be like, Yar, you need some tips for learning? And I'd be like, what? But yeah, this is a, this is a pretty depressing island that I'm on right now. There's not really a whole lot going on here that I can do. Ooh. That's kind of cool, right? 
like a, a coconut. I don't know if that's actually like a coconut that's been launched or if it's just a coconut right there on the ground. But yeah, you got some cool maps. Come on, let's, let's put the map away. Nope, nope, nope. Map down. Stop it. There we go. And you could collect wood, but obviously this kind of hurts you doing it this way. Strong wood. Better than the weak kind of wood, that's for sure. Uh, it's just, it's got some neat elements to it and, and neat things that you're trying to do along the way and stuff that you can gather and collect. I, I mean, it's, it's very much your, oh, he's actually flying. It's a, it's a seagull. Be gone with you, bird. Oh, I thought he would he'd go further than that. Anyways, it's, it's got some like neat survival elements to it, and I think some people will find this to be rather enchanting in terms of like the design of it. I, I will say, you know, the, the sky and everything like that is it's kind of really, really lovely. They did a pretty good job on that. And everything's got like a ticking time bomb to it too when you build stuff online. It's not quite like di diving into like the single player and building your own sort of thing. Which I think might be good to kind of show off because I didn't end up anywhere where I was like, you know, exciting to kind of dive around and showcase because we're on the middle of this island here. I guess I could swim, but yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of boring just being stuck on this east, Easter Head Island area. Uh, at least the water is kind of expansive, I suppose, doing all kinds of weird stuff as we swim down into the deep. I always thought that was cool about Ark was the fact that you can actually swim and there's like water creatures and everything. A lot of games just wouldn't have that sort of element to them. Get back here, Battle Ray! But we'll, we'll show off a little bit of the single player. So this is the single player experience. Hello there, Cosmetic Sky. So you can see sort of how that's running at the current point. And again, this is, this is very likely to change over time due to like you know, updates and game preview and everything like that as they work towards uh, fully releasing this game down the line. It's, it's sort of neat. Oh, there's water this way. What a, what a shocker. But yeah, I've kind of adjusted things so that I'm pretty, like, I don't know, powerful, or at least I'm very proficient in terms of collecting resources and everything. Oh, wow, I do not want that toggle. Do not want the orbit uh, mode, that's for sure. Is that a rock there? I need to gather rocks and resources so that I can gather and be more efficient. Oh, this actually is water. It's like a little pool. Is this where we drink out of? Yeah, you don't want to get thirsty or anything. Oh, jeez. Pretty cool looking, though. And I hope this is giving a good indicator of, like, the performance of what you're doing in it. The tutorials, general movement. <gasps> you can learn how to move. Swimming? What? No way. Crafting an item, spending skill points, resources. No way. Anyways, so that's, again, you know, they have all these different things that can teach you how to play the game if you need it to learn how to really do things better. Because keep in mind, I'm not really showing off anything too technically impressive in this one. I mean, I've just been running around you know, giving a sense of the multiplayer and everything like that. It's not like I've been doing intense ship battles or anything that more, uh, I guess you could say, veteran players would be doing. Sugar canes. Yeah, and as you can see, like, the resource collection is just off the wall. Well, crazy. It's like we're almost level one. But you go around, you just you scavenge resources, you improve your character, and you become a, a pirate doing all kinds of piratey things along the way. I guess I should have showed off the different skill trees because I kind of just scroll down on this one, but you know, you can like do all these different areas for different types of uh, pirate action. If you get what I mean? I hope that kind of showcases it better. Waterkeeper, construction and work Yeah, sure. There we go. Hand-to-hand -hand combat, oxygen reduction rate. I feel like I'm gaining skills and can learn valuable lessons along the way. We need flint. Oh no. What will we do without flint? 
It's always an essential part of building stuff, I guess. Just punch the <laughs> just punch the ground and be like, I'm tired of this. But no, I, I mean, it's a neat sort of game, right? Like, it's got some neat mechanics to it. Ooh, oh, I'm so hurt. But look at all the stone I collected. Like, it, it really is sort of unique, and I could see why they did it. It's a good, I guess you could say, pivot from the the arc series it makes sense on the brand and it probably was a lot easier than having to uh, go back and start from scratch I guess you could say in terms of like what you're doing within the world I can't believe I'm so injured oh now I'm fine I'm, I'm not I'm not hurt anymore guys it, it's totally cool it, it's totally all right you know it's it, it, I've had worse but yeah, it's, it's got some neat, like, styles to it and things you can do. And again, if you like Ark, I think you will kind of enjoy what this has to offer, at least here on the Series X. I can't speak for uh, any improvements to what they've done, you know, on the One X or anything like that, or how it runs on other platforms. But I'm mostly just trying to give you an idea of, of what it's like here, how it's running, how it's looking. And it, it actually is quite lovely. I mean, there's got to be some sort of little boost in this one just in terms of improving it. I'm probably gonna get like a uh, big slowdown on my character due to collecting too much. I don't know if I adjusted that element of the experience, how much storage I can actually have. I, mean, I could do admin time stuff, I guess. Ooh, wild male pig. Hello there. I wish I could tame that thing, that'd be awesome. But alas, it is not meant to be. I really gotta find some flint. Does anybody have any flint? hit this to harvest it. Ugh. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Yeah, it's weird. Some stuff just, like, does not seem to gather. But sort of a neat starting area. Like, a little bit of, like, NPC type stuff. Like, I, I know you saw that when we first got in here, but you can actually, um, you know, interact with the individuals out there a bit so it, it does seem like they're trying to add something a little bit different outside of what they did with arc you know being more of something where it's a, an adventure type game yeah i guess i don't know it's like the collection stuff is a little it's a little touchy doesn't want to collect okay when i tap that i want to see my inventory unbelievable you know what i mean I've got 199 stones, jeez. I don't think we need that many. Could you move out of the way, wild pig? Then you can gather your inventory. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this look at Ark. Or Ark. <laughs> That's how used to it I am. Atlas. And uh, maybe we'll jump in and do some more complex stuff where it's not just, uh, you know, kind of sitting around here looking at what this world has to offer. Which is a lovely backdrop. Beyond everything else, they've got like some just gorgeous skylines in this one. Ooh, stunning. Absolutely stunning. Ships finding treasure. <gasps> Wild monkey. Hello, monkey. Where are you going? Come back! Oh, run away from me. Unbelievable. Just want to be a pirate. That's for sure. <laughs>